As legend has it, the kingdom of Grigorone was founded by three mighty dragons. However, they did not want to frighten the people by their appearance, which is why they set a virtuous nobleman on the throne, taken as a promise that he would be a rightful and kind ruler, and that he would never reveal to anyone how he became the king. And every succeeding heir had the duty of keeping this secret. The kingdom flourished throughout centuries as the faithful and just dynasty was at the wheel. But nothing lasts forever. Peace ended with the overthrow of its ninth king. The self-proclaimed sovereign of Rickerone started a new cruel and tyrannical era. He was later deposed by his own brother, Alborus. Innocent blood spilled because he considered anyone he met as a threat to his rule. You wanted to see me, your highness. Yes, Tylin. Come here. Sit beside me. I have heard rumors that someone is plotting a mutiny against me. A mutiny? That can't be true. Who's advising you, Simon? Oh, that's none of your concern. And don't pretend you haven't heard of it, Tallinn. If I did, I would have told you, Simon. Your Highness knows that. Or do I? Even if the traitor was your own flesh and blood? Tyra? Yes. Her. Your precious little sister. Or do you have another one? No, Simon. Regardless, I have given to thought. And since the two of you are related, why don't you enlighten me on the matter? With all due respect, Your Highness, we are at feud. I haven't spoken to her in years. Oh, that's hard to believe. I will never lie to you again. Don't you dare avoid my question. I'm on your side, Rocky. You're the best ruler. Rigorone could have ever decided. Do not cajole me, woman! I'd never do that. You know my loyalty to you has no limits. Well, now that you proved this up, why don't you prove it to me? That your loyalty. I'll do anything. Good. I need to know who stands behind the mutiny. And you are going to find this out. Or die. you doing here? You are supposed to stay in the palace and make sure Elberus doesn't ruin more innocent lives. I know I'm risking a lot being here, but I came here to warn you. What happened? You have to leave the realm as soon as possible. What are you talking about? We can never give in. Elberus suspects you. It's always been like that, Tylen, ever since the key was lost. Now the threat is real, Tyra. Someone's whispered in his ear, and until we find out who that is, it's not safe for you to stay here. He may start a witch hunt. I'm not afraid, neither of 
the tyrant who calls himself king, nor of his weak soldiers. I know that, but you don't have an army to confront him. You're right, I don't. But I know who does. She's here, your highness. Finally! Bring her in without further ado. There you are. You know, you gave my men a hard time. Four summers and four winters they've been ranging through my lands to find you. Everything happens for reason. Does that mean you know why you've been brought into the palace? You are afraid to lose power. And you need my advice. How dare you mock your king! But you are no true king. And we both know that. To be honest, your audacity humours me. Yes, you please. I've heard you're the wisest of all living in my kingdom. I don't contest that. Then let's begin, shall we? The foundation of Frigoron is shrouded in myth and legend. I want you to shed some light on this mystery. The past is lost forever. Who is it? Talk now, or I'll get your head cut off. But I can't see the future. Fine. Tell me about my future. Give me a hand. I can see change. What sort of change? Am I deified? I want to be remembered forever. The clouds are piling up. And the fire is burning. Must be the flames of my victories. Their prophecy will be fulfilled. Prophecy? What prophecy? The anger of the dragons will reach the deceiver. Only the just king will rule the throne. I'm already the king. But you are not the one. Do you want to challenge the fortune? Aren't you afraid, Albertus? Aren't you afraid to crumble under the weight of so much power. God! Your Highness? Where is she? I, I beg your pardon, sire. The sorceress! Uh, my, my apologies, your highness, but there were no visitors in the palace today. Are you certain about this? I know what's at stake, but this war is our only way. Do you think I can't convince him? You have no other choice. But have you thought about the people? It's tough, I know. But would you rather see them being tortured by others? Of course not. Then let's not lose any more minutes. What a beautiful morning for an execution. Your Highness? Whatever you want can wait. I have to maintain my reputation of a tyrant and powerful ruler, of course. Whatever you want, my king. Bring me the line now. Now tell me, Flower, have you changed your mind? No, sire. Then get ready to die. Your Highness, there is something urgent I have to tell you. Your persistence has always amused me, Tylin. Well, let's hear you out. Gone! 
Take your way. Hope you brought me the answer. I always fulfill my promises. All right. Now tell me, who's the one who wants to throw me off this road? We have to go back in history to find that out. Go on. Your father had two sons in marriage. After he became a widower, he grew fond of a maid serving at your house. That doesn't ring a bell. Because it was all kept secret as she was carrying a child, a son. What are you trying to say? The ones connected by blood hurt the most. Your father left you with nothing, but gave all his fortune to his bastard, his third son. The reason you go Heimler is, I have brother? But would a little duchy be enough? Of course. I see it now. He wants to become the king, just as he had stolen my fortune. He must be the one behind the mutiny. My lord, the Rigoran army is marching toward our lands. As far as I'm concerned, we outnumber them greatly. You are absolutely right, my lord. Then we have nothing to fear. With all due respect, my lord, the King Alberus has quite a reputation. As a bloodthirsty savage? Well, I'll be more than glad to put an end to his rule and dance on his grave. As brutal is my second name! Duke has a powerful army. I believe in your warriors, my king. We need support in this war. A fleet. We can form an alliance with the Knights of Wehenstar. But with those robbers and outlaws? We have enough gold to pay them off, don't we? Mm, yes, your highness. Then make no delay. I will stop at nothing to defeat the Duke. Set in motion a fierce war. King Albinus won the duchy has fallen. Good you're here, Karen. Have you heard the news? Yes, my congratulations, Your Highness. Thanks. Why don't we celebrate my great victory? That would be my great pleasure, sire. I wanted to share my triumph with Delia. Maybe now she'd like to become my lawful wife? Never. This court and corruption are ruling this kingdom, and this is all because of you. How dare you, little rascal! She doesn't know what she says, sire. I'm speaking in the mind of all the people of Rigorum. That's not true, my king. She's just afraid. You have a reason, Tylin. People fear me. And this is my power. They will never rise against me and I will rule them all. Your rule is almost gone. Then you won't see it. Because your life will end now. 
have some mercy, sire, on this great day. You're right, Titan. Why don't we share a drink with her? I'm not thirsty. Drink! Or she die. Must be wondering why your wine was in Bennett. Well, I have amusing news. Your sister, Tyra, was spotted on the battlefield. On the wrong side. No worries though. She's dead now. Just like every other Saham line night. I had no idea. You lied to me, Tyrin. You're going to pay for this. Will you talk now? I'll make you talk. Saya! Saya! Why are you troubling me right now? The rebels, your highness! They breached the walls! How did you let this happen? We believe someone opened the door for them! It is not safe for you to stay here, your highness! I'm the warlord! I am afraid of nothing! We are fearing it might be someone from Saraimlar! Wow! Keep an eye on her until I return. Tyra? I... I thought you fell in the battle? I did, but I came back. What? How did you... We lost our powers decades ago. But we never lost our hope. Did you... Did you find the key? The Duke of Sahaimla had it in his possession, but now, finally, it's in the right hands. The Kingdom of Rigorum will be freed from tyranny once and for all. Where is she? Where was the guard looking? I'll kill him when I find him. Who's there? Is that you, Tylin? I'm not Tylin. A voice. Tyra? You must have been injured, at least. Come out! And I'll end your sufferings right now. I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. You'll never be able to change, Albidus. How dare you! I'm your king! You've never been one. An imposter. That's who you are. And finally, I'll avenge all the people you killed. You? Who are you? I'm Tavia, the warrior of sands and swords. The defender of the Great Realm. I'm Tyra, the warrior of sun and wind. The defender of the Great Realm. And Tyrlin, the warrior of hearts and souls, the defender of the great realm. We are the three dragons that founded this kingdom. I thought, I thought, I thought it was all a legend. You thought wrong. You wanted to learn the legend of Rigoron, then listen. When a human became the first king, they locked the powers in the crypt, and were bestowed eternal life to give a nine his rule. If injustice was to occur, we were entitled to open the crypt and get our powers back to restore the order. But the key was lost in the misty forest, and we could only observe the misdeeds of your brother and you. Until now, when we finally found it in the Duchy of Sahanla. 
our immortality was wearing off as long as the key was out of our possession, which is why Tyra and I were riding around the realm searching for it. Tandy was a rat. In your treasure, she knew everything what was happening in the castle. You betrayed me! No, you betrayed yourself. And now it's time to pay for your sins. Please, don't kill me! Too late. <laughs> Alberus was blinded by his rage, inhuman cruelty, and a good old sharp sword. He was destined to endlessly wander around the misty forest. The people of Rigorone were freed. However, no new king sat on the throne. A council of three have been ruling the kingdom ever since. The three councillors did not possess any special powers and looked just like ordinary people, but they made the kingdom thrive and prosper. And although, from time to time, some townspeople claimed they saw a dragon's flickering wings between the clouds, the dragons remained only a legend of the mighty kingdom of Rigorone.